That sounds a bit louder. Is that good, guys? How about that? There it is. Cool. Perfect. All right. A little bit of technical difficulties, but we got through it with relative ease. Tamara, welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Let's do some shout outs real quick because there's some people here. Um, check out Obsessive Repulsive. He was here first. Uh, but don't follow him. Whatever you do, he hates that. <laughs> check out Ursa Frank. Another retro streamer. And check out the wonderful Chimpkin Tamara variety streamer who also features their chickens on stream. Very awesome, wholesome time over there. But we are going to play. Oops, it did not actually shout them out. So we're going to try it again. There we go. Thank you, Streamlabs. You're welcome. Yeah, everybody. Everybody check those people out. Three awesome streamers. Let's get this started, shall we? This is Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy on GameCube. Oh yeah, and check out Snurda Birds as well. Lots of cool people in here. Snurda Birds has been playing Let It Die. Come on. There we go. Uh, which is one of my favorite uh, free-to-play games. Uh, so check him out too. I was hoping that Ursa Frank was going to be Lisa Frank, but everyone was <laughs> bears. That would be a, a, a fun channel theme for you to do for like uh, April Fool's Ursa. Just have a bunch of Lisa Frank style emotes. I don't know if you're, you know what that is. That might be an American thing. Uh, all right, let's get started. New game. Oh, wow. That uh, selection's really hard to see. I see it now. Should I do options? See what's, what's happening in the options here. Let it snur die. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's it's like uh, Google it real quick. It's nothing bad. It's just like um, stickers and cute like uh, products for like that are designed for like little girls. Like color. Yeah, just Google it. it it'll it'll make sense immediately. It's just a, it's like a, a style branding. All right, new game. I've never played this before. I'm excited. I don't even know what type of game it is, really. Oh, I'm pressing B is what's happening. Yeah, rainbow animal trapper keepers. Yeah, trapper keepers. That's, that's a good word. Binders and things like that. And notebooks, and notepads, and yeah, lots of stickers. Uh, all right, Sphinx A, saving. All right, this is exciting. Sorry for anybody who came in expecting King's Quest gameplay. <laughs> We got wheeled. The time I feared has arrived. The darkness prophesized will soon depend, descend upon us, and we need to be prepared. I have chosen you both because you have already proven that you are my most worthy apprentices. The mission is that you are about to embark on will be a test of your strength and abilities. Prepare yourselves, for the path ahead will be highly dangerous. I cannot guarantee safe passage or that you will return alive. But you must go of your own choosing. Now is the time to stand down if you wish. I see, since you have both accepted the task, I will transport us to Uruk, the land of darkness. There you will need to find the Blade of Osiris, an old and powerful sword protected by the demons of Uruk. You're welcome. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for the journey. And that's what the wheel stream's all about. I'm fine if we get a wheel, if we get a wheel spin every hour. I'll start turning up the cost, but uh, 
it's it, I think it's fun to just try a bunch of different games. You're going to have to fight uh, Ursa because he's probably going to go for that lock. Yes, that is the infamous castle of Uruk. Nobody knows what goes on beyond those walls, at least nobody alive. But I can clearly feel the evil nature of that monstrous building. Look, as you can see, the piercing fiery ray is active, and that troubles me deeply. Legend tells us that it protects the castle and the surrounding area of Uruk with a formidable power. This area is full of traps and obstacles, but nothing as devastating as the ray. Beyond this point, my powers are useless, I'm afraid. I can't accompany you any further. Now both of you must search out the magical blade of Osiris. Only if you work together will you have a possibility of finding it. Rafiki got his teeth fixed after that Lion King money, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. I think I can see something interesting in the rock structure over there. Go investigate it. You should check out this area. All right, Birdman. Okay, we got to jump. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow, this is a lot. I can't get off of this screen. <laughs> I pressed like L to get onto it, but now I can't. There we go. All right, let's move forward. Can we... Something, do I want to invert? No, I don't think I need to invert. Feels a little weird, though. I don't know why. Ow! Okay. Well, don't go towards those, I guess. Hey, Sphinx, I'm over here by the lava fall. Come on over. I need to show you something. Okay. Press and hold A for a long period of time to jump further. All right. <laughs> Immediate death. This is like Egyptian Banjo-Kazooie. Hmm, this is too high for you, isn't it? I don't understand why the master insisted on having you accompany me. You're just holding me back. I'm skillful enough to find the blade without your help. You'll need to figure out how to get up here yourself. Oh, thanks, dick. Notice how Y on the top right display changes when you approach certain objects. Press Y to pick up rocks when you're close to them. Okay. Okay. So this is like an infinite rock uh, situation. Obviously, I need to use this for a puzzle. This geyser is inactive. Looks like it requires additional lava flow in order to blow. Oh. So if we get lava to that thing, it'll blow up, I guess?
So when we throw the rocks, they explode. Take a look at my surroundings real quick. Looks like a lava slug or something. Are you friendly? Nope. <laughs> Yeah, you're far too scrawny. I'm starving, but I'm not desperate enough to eat the likes of you. Too many clothes. If only I had a few coconuts. I haven't had a coconut in ages. Hmm, just thinking about them. Yeah, this is so reminiscent of Banjo-Kazooie. Okay, so he wants a coconut. Not sure how to get a coconut. Probably need to whack it with something. Can I go over here? Nope, that hurts. That hurts too. I've beaten this game, but it was a long while ago, so I won't be able to help much. That's that's fighter, so I'm just figuring out the uh, the game's dialogue, if you will. Like not dialogue in terms of the text, but in terms of like game design, you know. So that might be a little slow to begin with. Just kind of figuring out what the uh, general vibe is. I can't jump with the rock. Doesn't do anything in there. What if I... Oops. Pulling that boulder weird, I agree. So I assume this is a death if I just ride it off the edge. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Oops. Boulder plus tree? Let me take a look. I thought I walked up to the tree with the boulder earlier. Oh, I can drop it. I didn't realize I had that option. Oh, that's weird. Got a coconut. Got it. Okay. That's a weird way to get a coconut. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Ah! There was lava down there. I think I want to change the horizontal um, camera controls. Yeah, that feels correct. Hey, you with the face paint. Could I have some? Sure, help yourself. Delicious, thanks. I can do with a few more like that. If you get me some more, I might be able to help you. Great. Okay, I understand now. Find the rock. Use the rock on the tree. Give the coconut to the lava slug monster. There's rocks. Oh, health, okay. I don't think I got a coconut out of that, though. Nope. 
Oh, okay, so we can't fall with the rock. So there must be another pile somewhere. There it is. Be the fall distance that broke the rock. No, it's fine. I found another one. Hey, coconut. I'll see if the other one has one before I go to him. Coconut! And a snake. I don't have an attack yet. <laughs> I can't deal with an enemy. Yes, coconuts. Can I have some? Sure, help yourself. Oh, thank you. That feels so much better. Just step out of my tongue and I can help you reach where you need to go. First, choose the horizontal direction, then choose the vertical direction. I will spit you over to the position you have chosen. Choose carefully, though. If you tell me to spit you into the lava, I will do exactly as you say. Okay. Oh, okay, it's one of these. I think the fall distance would hurt Kevin hurt Hart before it would hurt the rock, I understand. I think I want to get up there. Doesn't seem very high, does it? Sorry, uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, oh, I fell. <laughs> the sneeze screwed me up there a little bit. I see where I need to go now, though. Try that again. There we go. Ah, you got up here at last. I didn't think you would make it. Your snail's pace has lost its precious time. Anyway, I have found the blood of Ra. Master Imhotep said it would allow us to walk on flowing lava and steam geysers. Oh, hi, Jargon Face. How are you today? Welcome on in and thank you for joining us. But it's impossible to get near it. I will have to find another solution. This game's like a cross between Legend of Zelda and Jack and Daxter. Interesting. I've never actually played uh, a Jack and Daxter game. That might be one good to stream at some point. I've literally never played a single one. I've always kind of wanted to, though. They seemed like they were right up my alley. I just didn't have a PlayStation when they were uh, coming out. Yeah, this is on uh, Dolphin. I do have the ability to play... Um, original hardware uh, GameCube games. I just don't have the access to the games, all of the games. I have I have my library, which is uh, on the wheel here, but uh, I don't have this game in particular. You see the statue with the dripping blood? It's said that this is the blood of Ra himself. Whoever stands under the blood will be encased in a protective shield, which will allow them to walk unharmed on boiling hot lava. However, it is said that the shield only lasts for a short time before wearing off. I first played this on Dolphin, but mine had black bars uh, on horizontal and vert not vertical. Oh, interesting. That sounds awkward. Yeah, this is just how it loaded in. I didn't have to um, change anything. But I'm sorry you had that experience. <laughs> uh, where is this blood he's talking about? Oh, it's like in it? No, where, where? Where's the blood dripping? 
You might notice the rock to your left. Oh, did I just throw it? The only reason I wouldn't emulate something was if the controller was somehow incredibly important or if it wouldn't emulate well. Otherwise, I think I'd just uh, rather just emulate anything. They actually do make um, adapters for controllers. So if you do have the controller, you can potentially just use that controller. I used to use a GameCube adapter for my PC a long time ago. Yeah, Jargon Face, if you wouldn't mind just... um. Low, a little bit lower on the back seating. I, w I, I can try to figure this stuff out myself a little bit. If I get lost for a while, that's fine. But uh, or if I ask for help, but I don't need to be, uh, you know, moment to moment. <laughs> this game on Steam and it's really solid version. Nice. Yeah, it's all good. Like, I don't mind a little bit, like, if I'm clearly lost, but, yeah, moment to moment's a bit much. But it's all good, dude. Also, I'm kind of getting used to the controls, because, uh, I basically have it set up so that I can look at the, um, buttons. Yeah, it's all good. If you want to get a physical copy of this, all versions are cheap and anything because of how few people uh, know this exists. Yeah, I thought about getting a, a physical copy, but I just wanted to be um, ready for when it got on the wheel. Because it wasn't that long ago that we added this. Yeah. Toss it and... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that solution before. You were probably just lucky, or rather, I knew the solution and was simply toying with you. Oh yeah, that's probably it. But yeah, I appreciate you, Darken Face. Don't worry, there will probably be a time when I ask for help. I get lost a lot. <laughs> okay, so I have the blood on. So that means I can walk through lava. So, I assume I've just got to go through this way. I hope it doesn't wear off. Cool. Yeah, no, this game this game seems pretty cool. It's, uh, I like the graphics. I totally would have played this if I had known about it. What do we got here? Looks like there's a little path that leads under here. Press Y to grab hold of objects. And use the control stick to push or pull them. Okay, that's simple enough. Okay, now it's giving me the context. I was like, I feel like there should be something I can do with the statue. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So now that, okay, that activates the geyser. Okay, that's easy enough. Yeah, this game can have some moments where it's like hard to work out what you have to do. Uh, all I'll say is think outside the box. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks, that's a good hint. Yeah, I'm still just kind of getting used to like uh, how it creates puzzles. The sort of uh, game design dialogue. Whoops. And the controls too. Uh, but the way I have my controls set up is I'm, I'm using an 8-bit Doe controller. So it's got all of the classic Nintendo buttons on it. Uh, so I just have those mapped to the equivalent on Dolphin. Uh, so if I get kind of lost, because, like, most games of this era have the contact-sensitive stuff on the screen, so I can just look at that and press the button, equivalent button, if I get lost. And this is contact-sensitive, so I think that's important to know what the controller button you're pressing is. And I have XBALR, so... I just have those mapped to those buttons, which makes sense. Thinking outside the box is going to be useful when you get into the mummy stuff. Nice. Okay, so I probably have to get the blood back before I do this. <laughs> Ursa's fine. I, I trust Ursa to spoil gently. Um, especially since he was the one who added this game. Uh. 
like like gentle vague spoilers are fine uh but it's like you know spoiling a character's death or like uh you know stuff like that is like stuff i'd like to avoid or like you know just major plot details spoiler lava hurts vague teases yeah that that's perfectly okay oh my god drop there we go I like this guy is basically your cannon Wahoo! This lasts a while, but it doesn't last forever. Oh, it didn't actually activate. There we go. Yeah, so if I do this, I can then use the lava geyser. Spoiler, Sphinx dies and the player drops him in lava. <laughs> what a cute little creature. So is that like a security thing? Nice, it took me a lot longer to work out my first time. <laughs> So obviously, I need to like trick this thing. Oh, is this Mario 64? Can I make it dizzy? No, <laughs> it's worth a shot. Okay, what if I ledge hang? Oh, he sees me. Oh, there's a little ledge here. I didn't see that. Oops. Okay, I think I need to go back and get the uh, the blood. I didn't mean to jump down there. That's fine. Wait, can I just... Oh, that, that was way faster. <laughs> uh, but I gotta get over here. Yeah, I gotta get the blood again, unfortunately. Oops. That's fine, doesn't take too long. This game is tight so far. Yeah, I think outside the box and notice everything, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Be perceptive. If something exists, there's probably a reason for it. Makes sense. Green Lantern fan. There's a concerning lack of riddles thus far. He is a Sphinx, isn't he? Shouldn't I be telling riddles? <laughs> Welcome on in, Green Lantern fan. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? Hope you had a good Monday. So, this seems pretty obvious. Okay, so I gotta wait till he's not looking. Yeah, easy. For uh, to which there are the lava flows to save the day. You get the ho. What? <laughs> For example, during the little scene with the eye, you could just about see that ledge, right? Delightful. It was a peachy Monday. Good to hear. So I take it you ate a lot of peaches then. I like these little eyeball guys, they're awesome. So if he sees me, 
He watches until I break line of sight. What happens if I throw a rock? Does he detect the rock? Can he smell what the rock is cooking? Yeah. Yes, he can. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't seem to actually work. Maybe if I throw it at the lantern? Yeah. Can't really do that. Yeah. Peaches are literally all I ate. Yeah, that is a peachy Monday. That's a lot of peaches. Use some peach cobbler. That'd be really good. Yeah, he doesn't really notice that. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be anything else around here. So it's gotta be this rock. If I drop it. Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. What if I just throw it at him? Oh, okay. It was that simple. <laughs> I was trying to be all sneaky with it, but it's literally just fucking pick up the rock and throw it at the thing. <laughs> Sphinx, over here! I think I may need you after all. Look, if you throw a rock at the animal warren over there, perhaps you'll get something useful. Is this upscaled since it's on Dolphin? I haven't applied any upscaling to it, so if Dolphin has an automatic upscaling, then that's what it is. But I, I don't know. This looks a native GameCube resolution to me. Can I untie these? Do I need to find a sword? Can use the rocks on the trees. Might as well do that real quick, see if I get anything. Yeah, it does look good, right? Oh, we're getting scarabs. We're getting collectibles. Hold on, I gotta be right back, guys. My bad. Sorry about that. I had it on uh, hardware mute because I was uh, on the phone with my father real quick. Nothing bad. Just uh, calling to catch up with me because my birthday is coming up. So we wanted to make some quick plans for, for dinner and whatnot. Sorry for the mute. <laughs> and sorry for the abrupt break. But uh, I had the ad break coming up anyways, so... Oh, that's where I've been. Ooh, pork shoulder. Pork shoulder joint uh, in the over with the old bay spice on it. Got to keep an eye on it. Ooh, that sounds really good. What does in the over mean? Oh, oven. <laughs> I was like, what's an over? Is that some... <laughs> yeah, I get you now. <laughs> Is that some across the pond terminology I'm not aware of. <laughs> but yeah, that sounds really good, Ursa. Uh, 
Okay, so we have plenty of rocks to deal with. <laughs> it doesn't work for that. I feel like it's got to be something with the rocks. We definitely can't make that jump. We've got to use the boulder. Is there some context menu here? Nope. Look around. Use our perception. Open our eyes. Wasn't there an animal hole in the cutscene? Yeah, there was something like that. I don't see where that is. There's like a little relief with like bricks or something. Is that it up there? Oops. <laughs> Maybe I can jump further than I realize. Imhotep. Imhotep. Wait, can I just get down there? Is that like real? No, it is not real. <laughs> Game over. Well, that's it, guys. We lost. Where is it? Where does it spit me when I do continue? This is important information to know. Did I just restart the whole game? Yeah, it looks like I just restarted the whole game. Wah, 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 wah. Can't skip this. This is a restart from save kind of game. Mm. Mm. Well, now we know. Save often. I didn't realize there was a manual save. It won't take long to get back to where we were. I just wish I could skip the cutscene. Yeah, the game never actually explicitly told me how to save, so... Oops, I keep pressing start. Wah, wah, wah. Good luck. Now that we know exactly what to do, it'll be real quick. I'll get to see that cutscene again this way. Oh, 
Oh, so I can't even save right now. It's like a, it's like a near automata situation. I got to get through this. Okay. Too high. Whatever shall we do? Okay, and that, that's when that worm shows up. I didn't realize she shows up after you talk to him. Pick this up. Drop it. Note to self, don't die. Where's that other rock pile? Bum, bum, bum. I swear it was like right around here. Oh, there it is. It's like this game is so hardcore, you have to actually beat it in one sitting. You can't, there are no saves. <laughs> All right, buddy, here's your coconuts. Far too scrawny, blah, blah, blah. a game like that. It's called Clock for the SNES. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, Plock is pretty hardcore. Whoops. Easy. Ugh, no saves, PTSD flash, <laughs> flashbacks to a boy in his blob, right? Or, uh... I had this one friend who his parents couldn't afford to get him a memory card. So whenever we wanted to play, like, a long game like Final Fantasy or something, we'd have to just leave it on. <laughs> it was so funny. We'd just leave it on for, like, weeks. Try to get as far as we could. There we go. Re up the uh, blood. Ooh, 
Wow. Easy, we're almost back to where we were. Get out of here. All right, I'm going to pay more attention to this cutscene now. Over here, I think I may need you after all. Look, if you throw a rock at the animal Warren over there, perhaps we'll get something useful. I completely misread this cutscene. I thought he was talking about, like, the spot he was at. Look at these scarabs again. I don't know what they do yet. Baby Sauron! Oh. Be careful, Sphinx. These monsters look pretty harmless, but they are highly explosive. When angry, they flash red and hurl themselves toward their enemy, exploding on contact. If you are quick in your feet, you can use them to your advantage by luring them toward the appropriate object. Okay. Block is a super hard game. The devs don't like password systems and wanted a save feature, but couldn't get the cartridge aspect sorted before release. As a result, no saves, no passwords, right? How unfortunate. Oh, I gotta blow up these uh, pegs. Froggies. One more, come on. Come, come. It ran into its own rock. Yay. We did it. Cool. These sacred statues allow you to save your progress. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> If a saved game was chosen, walk uh, close to the one, one and press Y to leave a record of your quest up to this point. I was so close to being able to save.
<laughs> hey, Sphinx, up here. Come on, we must hurry. I'm going to need your help up here. Just jump against the wall and use the, uh, the stick to climb up, down, left, and right. Got it. Watch out for these spiders, though. They could give you a nasty bite if you're not careful. Very intimidating. Oh, shit. Ow. Over here, use the railing to cross the gap. You got it. Jump and grab the railing. Okay, easy. Self-explanatory. At last, I have found it, the ancient blade of Osiris. Look as it sits over there in that rock pinnacle. But how can we reach it? The blade of Osiris is now in sight, but I can see no way of getting to it. Sorry, but that had to sneeze. Whoa. Oh, I accidentally opened up big picture mode. Oh god, everything's screwed up. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have a, a home button on my controller that doesn't have any functions when I'm not using Steam. Uh, but if Steam is open, it will open big picture mode. Uh, and I have it set to quickly mute my mic if I have to sneeze or take care of something. But I should probably just turn Steam off because it's not like I'm using it. I'll probably do that on my next break. Hmm, thank you very much, Sphinx. You've been more helpful than I expected. Now I can get to the Blade of Osiris. What's going on? Everything is trembling. Look, the ray, it's charging. Sphinx, this does not bode well. Add it to the shuffler. No save states. Mwahaha. Wow, that was lucky. Oh no, where's this ship going? This thing going. Sphinx! Sphinx! Uh, this wouldn't be a bad game for the shuffler, but I do not think I can do GameCube games on the current shuffler that I have. There, there might be a way, but, um, yeah. we have here this is a zip line jump and catch the handle if you want to use it well that sounds fun we and speaking of shuffler there's the pole for the the next shuffler and uh, the um, N64 collectathons are currently winning.
Imhotep. Little platforming here. There we go. You got the blade of Osiris. The great god Osiris himself once wielded this powerful weapon. Press and hold B to form a backhand sword slash. Press A and then B in midair to perform a high sword slash. The high sword slash is useful for striking targets such as a hanging lamps. Okay. Cool. Cool sword. You have found the blade of Osiris, but your actions have s s alerted those in the castle of Uruk. Through the, those caves is a magical portal. An ancient, uh, ancient devices formerly used by the gods to travel between worlds. Many years ago, I hit a portal amulet up in the high ledge on the exterior of the portal chamber. That amulet will allow you to return swiftly and safely to our temple. But you must hurry, Sphinx, before you suffer the same fate as Horus. Sorry, Horus. Work time! Hell yeah. Let me know how it is, Ursa. Oh, now we got enemies. Yeah, this is like Zelda. Alright, we got the blood. I should find the save point. Da, 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 da. Cool game. Uh, Monster Bedtimes and then the last two JoJo episodes. Oh, awesome. Enjoy it. Uh, and I'll see you later. Green Lantern fan, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Stone Ocean was really good. I can't wait for the next part. That was the wrong button. Oh, can I just attack these guys now? Yep. <laughs> I'm sure it won't always be that easy. Trapped. You got a mysterious amulet. The strange symbols on this ancient artifact indicate the indicate transport to a mysterious location. Cool.
All right. Ba, ba, ma, ma, ma. This deadly Eye of Ra post is made of cracked stone. It looks like some kind of explosion would shatter it. Yep. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Spitting rocks at me, so rude. Oops. Health would be nice. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I died. Damn. Yeah, this game is kind of uh, sparse with the save points. I should go back to this one after I get the sword. All right, let's try again. Or maybe there is one somewhere nearby. I just didn't notice it. That's entirely possible. Alright, let's do this again. Da na na na. Where was that? Oh yeah, here we go. We again. Wah 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 wah.
I already forgot where that uh, thing I pushed was. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, here it is. All right, okay. Cool. Sphinx? Sphinx! Yeah, he's dead. Sword of Osiris. Give me sight beyond sight. Whoops, wrong sword. Ba -da 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 -da. Yep. Caves. I gotta go to those caves. Okay. Swiftly and safely to our temple. Where was that cave? Blood of Osiris. I gotta not die again. Tempted to just go back to that save point. Whoops. Might as well. Can I just destroy these? Nope. Oops. Yeah, I gotta go back to the save point. Oh, I'm all the way back here now. Oh, no, this is in front of the cave. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to that save point just so I don't have to redo all this over again. I don't know where the next one is. Can't always get health either. Oh, it's closed. Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Oh, 
Damn. Where's it gonna put me? Yeah, right here. I'm gonna be very careful. I don't wanna have to redo all this. I gotta find some health out here. No, I can't do that. If I jump like this. Weird. Very careful not to fall in the lava. Wah, 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 wah. Where were those caves? Please give me some health. Yes. Much better. And back and the pork is good, hell yeah. I, uh, you didn't miss much because I died and just had to do this entire section over again. Uh, because I haven't been able to find a save spot. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? Arco Misto, welcome on in, and thank you so much for the uh, subscription. I saw it pop uh, on a few, like a, like an hour after I logged off a few days ago. So thank you so much, really appreciate your support. And welcome on in, how are you doing tonight? Hello. Hope you're having a good morning. <laughs> yeah, it's like 8 in the morning for you. Hi. Yeah, glad you could join us. Yeah, I've done this before and then I died. I died right after this part. I tried to go back to the safe spot. Yep, it's morning. Health. Wah, 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 wah. That's where it came from. Yeah, we're playing uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Because uh, Ursa Frank added this to the wheel and we spun and got to it. It's kind of like a... Uh, Egyptian adventure game. Egyptian themed adventure game, I should say. I blew this thing up. And that caused the rock to appear. Oh no, that's not what it did. What did this do? I'm not even sure what that did. The rock was already there. But how are you doing, Archimisto? Do 
Golden scarabs. Bow. This thing is what killed me. I like the music stings when you hit things. Feels cool. Oh, I see what, what I need to do here. Woke up with a weird thing going through my head? Do you mean like mentally or physically? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Damn. Oh, weird thoughts. Okay. I, I, I didn't know if you meant like there was something sticking out of your head and you woke up and like, what is this thing? <laughs> There's a tree growing out of my head. There we go. Can I change the direction here? Doesn't seem like it. What is that? Oh, come on. That would have been bad if I didn't attend to it. Yeah. Or if you didn't know what it was. There we go. It's a lot like Zelda. So far very linear though. But this is just like the tutorial stage, so it could be completely open once I get out of here. For all I know. I like the look of it. You're still in the tutorial, yeah. I figured as much. They uh, really don't give you a lot of saves in the tutorial. What do we have here? Okay, puzzle solved. Bridge of Light. Now there's that chest. Emotep. Oh. Wah! Oh, 
Alas, you are trapped here in the portal chamber, and you do not have the correct portal amulet. We should be grateful that you are still alive. Unfortunately, the defenses of the castle are simply too strong for us. You failed to collect the amulet that would send you home, but I see you found another mysterious amulet. I have no idea where it will take you, but it seems you have no choice. Step up to the magic circle in front of the portal god and use the amulet. Sphinx, I only hope it takes you to a safe destination. Can't just break through the door. Well, there's a save point at least. Use. The portal god acknowledges your offering and pro will provide a transport to a mysterious location. How mysterious. I take it that's tutorial done. Good morning, Prince, and happy birthday. The entire palace is very busy preparing for your birthday ceremony. Prince, I spoke with Lady Nefertiti earlier. She requested you meet her in the courtyard this morning. Tutorial one, got it. Oh, now I'm a different character. Okay. I can crawl. <laughs> Alright. Objects like this can be pushed and pulled. Press Y when close to the object, then use that to push or pull. Interesting. Prince, I'm busy cleaning this wardrobe at the moment. It's locked. Get the key. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, Prince, that was a nice flower pot. Oh, was it? Oh, no, not another one. All right, I can push these two. Hello. The old amulet. All right, let's find this one. Do you want to wear this? Sure. Snazzy. Please, Prince, can you stop making a complete mess of the room? I'm the Prince. I'll do what I want. Or I can wear this, I guess. I don't know what the difference is. She's given up. Not the pink one, it's really ugly. What are you, my mom? <laughs> Let's try that one. Okay. Lady Nefertiti, I am aware that the Prince Tutankhamun has asked for your hand in marriage. As any astute man will tell you, the logical choice is not necessarily the wisest. A marriage with, say, his brother Akhenaten 
would have unexpected advantages. And who knows what the future will bring. You should think carefully about it, Nefertiti. Happy birthday, Prince. Ah, oh, my favorite nephew has come to see... Oh, Mr. Crappy. Welcome on in, Mr. Crappy and Raiders. How are you today? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How are we all doing today? How'd you like uh, Mace... Mace Griffin? How'd it go? We're playing uh, Sphinx and Sphinx and the Curse of the Mummy. A bit janky, but a decent FPS. Yeah, I I remember not hating it. But yeah, thanks so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Everyone, check out Mr. Crappy, retro streamer, does original hardware. Thank you, Zero Dine. <laughs> Uh, but we're, we're doing the wheel stream. Wheel's active. You can, uh, I think the cooldown's up. We can spin the wheel or lock it. Oh, I see you have found some old amulets. Nobody really cares about them these days, but I've been searching for them lately. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Crappy. <laughs> Mr. Crappy is the first. First to redeem. <laughs> the whole collection is scattered throughout the place, and Akhenaten has ordered me to collect them. He wants to store the collection in the tre treasure room. Would you please find the amulets for me, my dear nephew? Oh, sure. So there's like a uh, Egyptian banjo kazooie. Just missed it, Ark. <laughs> Just missed it. Forgot to go through that. All rewards claimed for this stream. Check it in next stream. Yep, that's because it's the yeah, we're the first to do it. <laughs> Well played, Mr. Crappy. Well played. Oh, I have it set to only one. I must have messed that up. I'll fix that. One second. I had it set to the wrong setting. I had it one per stream, not one per person. That's what it's supposed to be, one per person. My bad. I don't know if it'll take effect this stream. But I just fixed it. Beef. I mean, spin. <laughs> All right. The wheel has spoken. Or Mr. Crappy has spoken. He wants a spin. So we're going to spin. And that is the current wheel. This game is fun. Or so I'm excited to play more when it shows up again. We're going to save state right here real quick. I don't know when, where the next save is going to pop up. They're pretty sparse in this game. So we're just going to do a save state right here. Do... Save state. All right. 